Let's say you own a manufacturing business. You frequently procure raw materials from various vendors for your production process. You send a document detailing the items you wish to purchase, their respective quantities, and the agreed upon pricing. This document is called a purchase order. Once approved by your vendor, this purchase order can be converted to a bill. Let's learn about purchase orders in Zoho Books. First, let's enable purchase orders in your organization. Log in to Zoho Books. Go to Settings and select General under Preferences. Mark the box Purchase Orders under Select the modules you would like to enable and click Save. Now, let's create a purchase order. Go to the Purchases module and click the plus icon next to Purchase Orders. Select the vendor from the drop-down. Select the delivery address. You can also change the delivery address by clicking here. If you are purchasing the items on behalf of your customer, select the option Customer. The purchase order number is auto-generated. You can click the gear icon here to enter the number manually. Enter the reference number, select the date, expected delivery date, and payment terms. Choose or enter your shipping preference. Add the item details under the item table. You can also add items in bulk by clicking here. Add customer notes, terms and conditions, and attach files if necessary. Then click save and send. The purchase order will be sent to your vendor. If you have enabled the option to let vendors accept or decline the purchase order from their portal, they will be able to do so. On approving, the status will be changed to accepted. You can convert the purchase order to a bill. If you're migrating from some other software to Zoho Books, you can import your purchase orders instead of creating a purchase order manually each time. To import purchase orders, go to the Purchase Orders module and click the More icon here. Select Import Purchase Orders. Choose the file you want to import. Please note that you can import your file only in CSV, TSV or XLS format. You can also download a sample file for your reference. Select the character encoding based on your import file. By default, UTF-H Unicode is selected. Select the file delimiter, then click Next. You will be directed to the Map Fields page where you will have to map fields from Zoho Books to the fields present inside your file. The data format here is selected by default. You can click Edit here to modify them. Here, the field names of Zoho Books are listed on the left side and the field names in the import file are listed on the right side. Match the field names and check this box if you wish to use the same mapping of fields during future imports. Then click Next. You will be directed to the preview page where the number of purchase orders to be imported, skipped and unmapped fields will be listed. In case of any error in the file, you can view the reasons under skipped records here and can also download them. Based on the reasons, you can correct the records and re-import the file. Then click Import. Now the purchase orders in the import file will be imported into the purchase orders module of Zoho Books. Let's look at some of the functions that can be performed upon purchase orders. If you want to export all your recording expenses, Click the More icon here, select Export Purchase Orders. On clicking a purchase order, you can edit, send mail to your vendors and print PDF. On clicking the More icon here, you can change the expected delivery date of the item ordered, cancel items if they are out of stock from your vendor or you don't need them, clone, delete if you want to remove the record of purchase order or mark it cancelled if you want to maintain the record. On selecting all the purchase orders, you can bulk update the field with new information, mark as issued, 
bulk cancel and reopen cancel items and convert them to bill all at once. Additionally, you can filter, sort and customize columns. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching.